بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <تصفيق> الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله إن أثنك حديث صححه إمام الألباني رحمه الله تعالى in his collection صحيح الجامع قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن العبد إذا قام يصلي أتى بذنوبه كلها فوضعت على رأسه وعتق وعتق وعتقيه فكل ما ركع أو سجد تساقط عنه. In this authentic hadith, the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said, if a servant stands for prayer. He comes with all of his sins and it is placed on his head and on his shoulders. And every time that he makes rukur or sujood, prostration, they leave from him those sins. And there are so many ahadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam which talk about the importance of wudu and prayer and how that expiates a person's sins. And the more that we make sujood and supplicate in our sujood, the nearer we draw, draw to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the more forgiveness we can achieve. So doing the nawafil, doing the extra prayers, aside from the five daily prayers that are required of us as believers, that this is a way and a means for us to gain forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that all of us can do very easily. And who from amongst us is not in need of losing those sins, of having sins drip away from us by making the wudu from what we saw, from what we touched, from what we walked towards. All those sins that we, we acquired and who from amongst us is not in need of all the sins that we acquire and accumulate throughout the day by having them removed through prayer, through salat. So it's imperative for the mu'min, the one who's concerned about his or her soul, to supplicate often to Allah and to bow down before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're not asking you to bow for a person out of respect or out of ibadah. And we're not asking you to bow down before a tree or an idol. But we're inviting you to bow down before Rabbil Alameen, the Lord of all things, the one who created all of this. The one who allowed the snow to descend which will then melt and be sustenance for all of this and for us. It goes into the water system. It is the water system. The snow from these mountains. And the provisions, it's the risk for the trees and for the animals. And then in turn for us, for the vegetation and all the things that we benefit. So we ask and invite you to worship, to worship the one who created all of this. 
to bow before him in order that you will gain forgiveness and in order you that you may fulfill your divine purpose because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem wa ma khalaqtu al-jinn wal insa illa liya'budun i have not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me so worship Allah as much as you can and gain as much forgiveness and I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam